Hey, good afternoon. I hope you're having a good Monday so far. It's time for our daily poetry reading, and today I'm going to read a poem by Stanley Kunitz from his collection Passing Through. The name of the poem is The Testing Tree. On my way home from school, up tribal Providence Hill, past the Academy ballpark where I could never hope to play, I scuffed in the drainage ditch among the sodden seethe of leaves, hunting for perfect stones, rolled out of a glacial time into my pitcher's hand, then sprinted lickety-split on my magic keds from a crouching start, scarcely touching the ground with my flying skin as I poured it on for the prize of the mastery over that stretch of road. With no one, nowhere, to deny when I flung myself down that on the given course I was the world's fastest human. Around the bend that tried to loop me home, dawdling came natural, across a nettled field riddled with rabbit life where the bees sank sugar wells in the trunks of the maples, and a stringy old lilac more than two stories tall, blazing with mildew, remembered a door in the long teeth of the woods. All of it happened slow, brushing the stick seed off, wading through jewelweed strangled by angel's hair, spotting the print of the deer and the red fox's scats. Once I owned the key to an umbrageous trail thickened with mosses where flickering presences gave me rite of passage, as I followed in the steps of straight-backed Massasoit, soundlessly heel and toe practicing my Indian walk. Past the abandoned quarry where the pale sun bobbed in the sump of the granite, past Copperhead Ledge where the ferns gave foothold, I walked deliberate onto the clearing, with the stones in my pocket changing to oracles, and my coiled ear tuned to the slightest leaf stir. I had kept my appointment. There I stood in the shadow at fifty measured paces of the inexhaustible oak, tyrant and target, Jehovah of Acorns, watchtower of the thunders, that locked King Philip's war in its annihilated core under the cut of my name. Father, wherever you are, I have only three throws. Bless my good right arm. In the haze of afternoon, while the air flowed saffron, I played my game for keeps, for love, for poetry, and for eternal life after the trials of summer. In the recurring dream, my mother stands in her bridal gown under the burning lilac, with Bernard Shaw and Bertie Russell kissing her hands. The house behind her is in ruins. She is wearing an owl's face and makes barking noises. Her minatory finger points. I pass through the cardboard doorway askew in the field and peer down a well, where an albino walrus huffs. He has the gentlest eyes. If the dirt keeps sifting in, staining the water yellow, why should I be blamed? Never try to explain. That single Model A sputtering up the grade unfurled a highway behind where the tanks maneuver, revolving their turrets. In a murderous time, the heart breaks and breaks and lives by breaking. It is necessary to go through dark and deeper dark and not to turn. I am looking for the trail. Where is my testing tree? Give me back my stones. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day and that it's the start to a great week. I want to ask for today's question, what you think it means to say that in a murderous time, the heart breaks and breaks and lives by breaking. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Stay healthy and stay well, and I will see you again tomorrow.